Hey everybody, um, this is Miss Hedrick. I wanted to hop on here really quick to show you guys how to um, navigate Blackboard, um, how to use the class calendar, and how to find the work on the class calendar. It's always going to be under content. The tabs that I'm talking about are right here on the left hand side of my screen um, in the menu bar. Okay, so since we are in the month of May pretty much now, um, let's go through this May calendar. Now first, Friday um, is an Achieve 3000 article. Students should be familiar with how to log on to this. If they don't remember their usernames or passwords, please send me an email. That's carlin.hedrick at cpsb.org. Um, you can also use the link under the content tab to go to Achieve 3000. This is the Achieve 3000 web link. By clicking on this link, you will be redirected to the Achieve 3000 login where students can complete assignments there. Um, like I have on the calendar, all of the Achieve articles are going to be student choice. I am not going to dictate which ones they need to do. I'm really just happy as long as they are completing them. Um, so if they do one this Friday, if they do the two the following week, and so on and so forth as it corresponds with the calendar, that's wonderful. Um, again, it's their choice. I am not saying which ones they need to do. Um, that is completely up to them. I just want them to be using the program. Um, for the fourth, it says Quill.com Grammar Assessment. Um, that will be under the Content tab. You will scroll down to this where it says Logging on to Qu onto Quill. Um, you'll go to Quill.org. You'll click on the Login button. If your student is logged in with their CPSB information and login information, um, they should be able to click on the Clever button and it will automatically log them in. If this is not the case, if this does not let your child do this, please send me an email. Um, let me know that it's given you an issue and I will look into it for you. Um, this is going to help me, one, see where they are with their writing and their grammar skills, and two, after their initial assessment, um, they will have grammar practice, grammar building um, with this program. Um, next on our class calendar, we have a ReadWorks guided lesson. Um, so again, that's under content. You'll scroll down to ReadWorks student login. Um, you will go to this link. Um, any of the little icons that have the globe and the piece of paper with the fold at the top that's dog-eared, um, those are going to be web links. Um, but you will use that link. You will enter in the class code LTC5DU and the password for everybody is 1234. Um, that class code lets the program know um, who your child is, that they're at FK White, so that way they get credit for doing their work. Um, when I say guided, I'm going to post a video right here under videos where I am going over the lessons that are assigned to students. So if a child logs in using ReadWorks, I can do the class code, which is LTC5DU. Okay. Um, it wouldn't let me log in because it's already logged in. Um, but you can click on your name, and it will pull up what lessons we have that need to be completed. Um, and again, I'm going to post a video of me explaining the lesson, going through some things a little bit more deeply. Um, 
and our Achieve 3000 program is mostly nonfiction on ReadWorks. It allows students to look at and go through some fiction articles um, and do some independent reading with that so that way they have a feel of both types of text, not just the nonfiction but fiction as well. Um, so in our videos I'll be going over that and they will need to follow along using this website and that video. I also have on here a writing choice board prompt. I don't have one of these until the 14th. Um, but for a writing choice board prompt, you will go to content. You will go to the second link right here, the writing choice board PDF file. Okay, and what you're going to do is just as a direction say, uh, students are going to pick out any of these topics. They can write it on a piece of paper and a picture of it can be sent to me or they can type it and send it to me. My email address is right here on the document. Um, make sure they're keeping track of the ones that they finish so that way they're not doing the same one twice. Um, for the ones that I have the race strategy, the race strategy is right down here for students that don't remember or for parents, guardians that don't know. Um, but that should be pretty simple. They've practiced all of those types of skills in class before, um, whether in responding to Achieve 3000 articles with writing or if they're doing an independent writing assignment. Um, but like I said, those can be typed out. Um, or they can be written up on a piece of paper. Either way, you can email it to me um, at carlin.hedrick at cpsb.org. Um, if you are starting from the home page, again, right here, you will just go to class calendar and you can click on which one we're doing, which one we're using for the month of May. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, <clears throat> my office hours are posted on here, so you can contact me during any time from 7.40 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, and I'm happy to help you with anything. Um, I hope y'all are staying well and being safe, and I will speak to y'all again soon.